Hey, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. Recently having a talk with one of my players and I told him I was uh, nearing my 100th video that I've done here. And he said that uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna run out of things to talk about. And um, not likely, I'll tell you why. Every time I coach somebody, something comes up that uh, makes for good, good training material, good video material, and here's what we had for today. All right, today we're talking about good footwork and good hand skills. And I guess if you played a while, you know that those are both very, very important for your uh, game. But l let's try to put the two together for a little bit. When you're first starting, you have to get at least the basic hand skills and the basic footwork to, uh, to get yourself playing half decently. And some players, uh, particularly younger players, get uh, pretty good at the footwork and maybe fall a little bit behind on the hand skills. And one of the things that I've noticed um, that's an advantage of working with players of all ages is that the older players, and I'm working with some players in their 70s and even uh, occasionally one in a player that's in his 80s, you can make up for a little bit of bad footwork with hand skills. If you see players that don't seem like they really move much, but they're still successful, they've probably got very, very good hand skills. And what that means is, well, let's, let's back up and let's talk about footwork first. Footwork is moving efficiently to get to the ball and putting yourself in the best position to make the best shot. It's a huge advantage and just because you were able to reach a ball doesn't mean you were in the best position for that. Good footwork also means that if you got in position to make a good shot, that you're also in a good position to recover and get back um, for the returning shot um, because they, they do tend to come back. The better your competition, even your best shots are gonna come back. And so a lot of footwork drills are designed to get used to that timing, move efficiently, move enough, but not move too much. All right, hand skills. You could be playing in a wheelchair, you could be nearly immobilized and still have some success by using hand skills. And like I said, when I'm working with older players, footwork seems to uh, be one of the first things to go. Hand skills, not quite as much. Uh, worked with a player today, good pushes, could do a forehand loop, a backhand loop, uh, could read the spin really, really well, but struggles with a basic structure drill of one forehand, one backhand. And so a coach has to be able to identify what every player's strengths and weaknesses are, what they're capable of, and what they're not capable of. And that goes for young players, middle-aged players, old players. Uh, there's some things, some players are just not going to be able to do certain, certain shots or that is not their strength anyway. So the, the point is your best table tennis players have tremendous hand skills and they also have at least very efficient footwork. They're in the right place. They read where the ball is and are usually there uh, anticipating shots because they're seeing what their opponent does. All that goes together. So it's, um, if, you're, if you've got good footwork but can't figure out why you're not winning, um, maybe there's a little more to it. Maybe it's not even just the hand skills. Maybe it's reading your opponent and putting those two things together. So there's a lot more to put together to make a complete player, but it's not enough to just have the hand skills. It's not enough just to have good footwork. You gotta put those two things together to develop your game. And uh, if you, you lack in, in one, maybe you can make up a little bit for in the other, but best to have both. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time. Mm -hmm.